morning, you guys. Welcome to day three of Gumball 3000. Today Ooh. is a big one. Today is a thousand kilometers. The big question is, was the battery the issue? I said, was the battery the issue in a and battery, battery fell out of big? <laughs> the question is, was it the battery or was oh it gosh. the capacitor? Up here, buddy. Up a little higher. There you go. You look like a Sherpa. We are going up a mountain today. We're going through the Alps. Go to we were told, don't go through Germany, they don't like Gumball. It's illegal in Germany to have stickers on your car. And then in Switzerland, the ticket is based on your net worth. Oh, I don't care, my net worth is pretty small. No, they just Google your name, they don't actually need to verify it. Oh, that's right, they go based on whatever they think. And for whatever reason on the internet, it says both of us were worth like $50 million, which is off by at least $6 million. So, don't speed in Switzerland, don't go to Germany. Oh, and don't fart in a small elevator. And hopefully the SVJ is actually fixed. And breakfast time. Oh, the lobby is full of gumballers. The help. Do we survive? Every morning, Gumball has this breakfast, it's part of the rally. If you get together, you make new friends, maybe new enemies. Good morning, Team Japan. How are you guys? How are you? <laughs> and my favorite Swedes are here. Oh my god. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? You did? Oh, I'm great. Can't speak English right now. How are you? You good? And our chariot has arrived. Thank you very much. Well, the streets are a bit calmer today than they were last night when we got here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So many people that came out to see all the gumball cars. DD time, baby. DD time. You're on DD. Six a.m. Pacific Standard Time every day. Let's go. Well, we made a mistake. I made a mistake. A mistake happened. We're on the wrong route. The unfortunate part is that we're all by ourselves. Us and the Mercia Lago. We are going through a country that I don't think we're supposed to go through. We were warned of a few places. This wasn't on the route. And certain countries like, so Dubai, ironically, Dubai, Germany, you can't have stickers on your car. What person was sitting in the government office like, hey, I had an idea for a new law. What is it, Billy? No stickers! By the way, the rigs are really cool here. You notice that? Spotless or custom. So far, crossing my fingers, the car's running pretty good. No uh, more lights in the dash. Uh, it's very neutral, I didn't even touch it. What? Yeah. Oh, I'm back in the verse. <laughs> I'm done. I'm gonna roll with the Mercy Lago crew today. You're on your own, Damon. You got room on your lap! Three guys, three dudes in there. <laughs> you know, Eric, I gotta say, you dress nice, man. How's the Mercy Lago running? Is it okay? It's running fine, but we're struggling to keep up with you guys. ALA system is more or less the windows flapping from the... Oh, uh, it's an old car. By the way, check it out, guys. We have an SF90. Chilling. Full trust mode, the door open. Okay, check this out. This is super cool. I've never seen this at a gas station. They have all these things you can buy for food. I'm pretty sure it's food. You tap your credit card, open it up, and you get a snack. Uh, what is this stuff? Do you know? I don't know. Like what, I've never seen What do we have here? Like a sausage? Tap for a sausage. <laughs> Local cuisine here in Belgium. First of all, I got you some summer screen wash. It was in a bag here, which is actually amazing. Group waffle. See, I have these at my house. <laughs> I'm kidding me, I was trying to find the most authentic thing you can find here in Belgium and David's like, I have these at home. It's compressed and it's got syrup in it. Oh my god, it's like your sugar. <laughs> I'm not that cute. <laughs> what? What have you driving me through, dude? By the way, that's your footprint right there. Oh, we've not paid for gas yet? <laughs> oh, okay. Bro hit a freaking ladder with his Bugatti. <laughs> no! Dude, it's bent. You can see it's all bent. Can you imagine hitting aluminum ladder? That'd be expensive to fix.
have a gearbox malfunction all of a sudden randomly. I can't make this So it's obviously not the batteries. And the car was running great the whole way here. That was so weird glitch. It's a dumb glitch and it stresses me out. I wonder if there's a Lamborghini dealership where we're going. Getting this car across the finish line is going to take a lot of work. We have a long way to go. We still probably have eight hours of driving to do this thing. Correct. Then we're in Switzerland, then we have tomorrow, Italy, Budapest, Montenegro. Well, what you got, Talia? Why would it do that and go away? It must be a, like a mechanical problem. Really? An actual yeah, physical a sensor problem? or something. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Dave, what are you getting? Big King XXL. Double XL? Are you gonna order? Because I'm pretty sure this woman only speaks French. Do you guys speak French? You guys of course. Speak French? Yeah, wee oui, wee. Oui. She's gonna tell you where the bathroom is when you start saying, I want my wee wee. <laughs> Number two. 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 Big King XXL. We. Oui. <laughs> Uh, Coke Zero. Coke Zero! What the with cheese or no cheese? Oh, you speak English. Parlez vous français? Oui. Listen to this guy. This is hilarious. Je suis fatigué. Hold on. <laughs> oh no. I have a massive weakness for this. I like the kind that go in my mouth and the kind that go on the pavement. Donuts. Yeah, it's like a Simpsons looking donut. Oh yeah, it totally does. Sprinkles. Are you a sprinkles person? No, I'm my seat. Are you a sprinkles person? Tell me, do you like sprinkles on your Comment donut? Comment below, you guys. This is, Comment, the, this is the biggest thing. This is title and thumbnail right here. Bathroom token? 50 cents. You get yeah, you do. So we have to pay to get in here. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, time for some Belgian Burger King. Does it taste better? Does it taste worse? We'll find out. Fantastic. All right, take a bite. How is it? Describe it for the audience. Mmm. Is it good? Mm. How's it compared to like the American Burger King? Better. It's better, right? All right, guys, don't mind us. We're gonna fuel up on food. Head the highway. I have an issue. Check the here. Oh, getting worse now. We're literally blocking the entire freeway right now. Oh, I don't know what to do. God damn it! Hey, we got off the road, thankfully. My God, that is so stressful. If we're cruising and it's consistent, it's not being as finicky. The second we end up in like traffic like that, if I slow down, I start getting like on and off the throttle. Yeah. It freaks out. It goes into neutral and it won't go back into gear. Dude, you see the traffic tail we caused? Yeah, yeah, yeah. F and I didn't even have enough momentum to get over to the right. Not liking this. Do you think we could get like call ahead and maybe get a, a capacitor from a Lambo dealer? Is that an easy thing to swap out? Let's see if I can get it back into here. We'll hit the road and then we'll start trying to find a capacitor. Dave's been on the phone trying to find a Lamborghini service center. There is one in Luxembourg. Dave's gonna try to contact the service center. Maybe, fingers crossed, one, they have a capacitor in stock. Two, could we swing by there and would they be willing to get their technicians to work on the car immediately. It's not like we're making an appointment for next week here. Uh, bonjour, comment uh, parlez-vous uh, anglais? I have a 2019 Lamborghini SVJ and I'm on the gumball rally right now. I have an issue with the uh, capacitor. Do you have any capacitors in stock? Friday. Oh, that doesn't work. We are half an hour away. Okay, we'll come there. Can you help us look at it and see if we can find a quick solution? The downside is that the dealership's half an hour in the wrong direction. The challenge is, will this car even make it there? As sh as it is to have to turn back, it is a smart decision because we want to finish this rally in Montenegro at the big gumball party. We want to do it in this car. That's what it takes on these rallies. It is grueling. There's 3,000 miles across 13 countries. When things go wrong, it's a real pain. This is the worst that can happen right now with being stuck in traffic in this car. And there's nowhere to go, like, we'll be in the weeds. So quick shout out to our friends, the Swedish guys. I said to them, hey guys, we're turning around, and they're here with us. Huge thank you to those boys. In fact, I'll read you what they said. We ride together, we die together. Bad boys for life, signed by Will Smith. I'm just not sure why. <laughs> worst case, we buy a tow truck, we drive the tow truck the rest of the rally. How funny would that be? I went back on a flatbed the whole rally. Yeah, we would do it. You guys, we were in France, so I go back to Luxembourg. We're crossing the border. Right, Three, two, one. We're in a, dude, I can't, this, there's nowhere to fuck up. There's nowhere to go. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh my bad. Oh my bad. Yeah, sorry. Stupid. Suck, dude. I don't have a solution for this one. It's four o'clock, probably six o'clock. I'm really hoping they get this car on a rack, get the computers out, figure out what's going on with it, and find that part. All right, guys, five minutes to go, three and a half kilometers. We're trying some tactics. When we stop, Damon grabs neutral. When we're moving, hold the low gear, high RPM, kind of keep the voltage up. Bro, home stretch. The real challenge starts when we get there to figure out, well, now what? We ship the swatch reports in here quickly. Also, there's that. Pop up here, could be the camera, be a bad time for a ticket. It's actually pretty funny. Hey, get pulled for a ticket, ruin like 51 to 50. Then the car won't go anywhere. Then the car won't move. Sir, move your car or I'll arrest you. I can't. Move it or I'll arrest you. A little tunnel. There it is, you guys. You look really close. Four feet from the top. Lamborghini. Of all the places in the world to find a Lamborghini dealership, we found one here. The odds were not in our favor. Come on. All right, we're here at Lamborghini. We'll do whatever it takes to get this car running. Whatever it takes. This car has to finish the finish line in three days. So you guys let me know what has to happen because he's got lots of money. How stressful is that being stuck in the highway? Very stressful. Without the cues and everything, it's crazy. Uh, LOA, Law of Attraction, that this is gonna be an issue that they have the part in stock. They're gonna have it, oh, it's just a, it's a diode for the reverse cam sensor. We know this is a problem for Dave DD. You know what, let me some Lamborghini merch. Look at this, look at this jacket. Sexy. Do you remember last Thursday, you said something about our Murcielago? Yeah, I said it'd be the most reliable car here because they're awesome cars. Drinks are on DD if this car makes it to the end. What's the over-under on this, do you think? It will run the whole race. It'll run always no problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that didn't age well. No, fuck It's fixed. Um, we have a problem with the ear gear box, the pump. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you have a pump? to change the gears. Is it hard to replace? Yes. What we can do for you now, it's uh, you waste the, the gearbox, and then you need to, you can, you can work. Do those pumps eventually just fail, or is it just gonna have an issue with pressure? It's an issue with pressure, yes, uh, because normally you have between uh, two activations of the pump about two minutes. And if it's below, the uh, pump has to uh, activate more often, and because of that, it heats up. And if the pump uh, heats too much up, it just deactivates for safety reasons. Shifting gear or changing gears doesn't work like it should. That's probably why it won't go in gear right away and then eventually it'll go in gear. That's why as long as we keep moving, it's not a problem, right? Like, Sounds like we just drive it. We are completely screwed. The biggest issue is the pumps overheat. Uh, when we're moving, there's a lot more airflow because the airflow needs to go under the car and there's a little NACA duck that sucks the air up and cools off the pump area. If we're moving, it's not gonna be a problem. If we slow down, it starts to heat up and the pump's turning on, it's gonna have a problem and then it's gonna need some time to cool off. That's why we're stuck on the road. Our choice is leave the car and they can fix it by Friday or we take the car. So you down with take, taking the risk and we'll drive the car and just hope we don't. Let's go. All right, here's the bad news for you guys. We have like 680 kilometers to go still. Over, we're not even close to halfway for the day. <laughs> not even we probably close. have seven hours if we don't stop for fuel. All right guys, we're gonna play a little game, okay? The time to beat ETA is 11.49. Can we beat that time? I'm gonna screenshot it right now, and in the vlog, we'll find out if we beat it. Remember, we have to stop for fuel and food. Can you do it, do you think? Well, the other issue is also the police. Who knows? It's gonna be dangerous. Maybe it'll be a two-part video. <laughs> well. 
gearbox error again. We've made it probably half an hour. We're moving again. The car loves to move. It's built to run. Look how long the tunnel is, dude. Especially in Japan, all the tunnels and brake lights. Okay, so somehow for all the confusion of traffic changing and the GPS updating, we did exactly what we're not supposed to do. We are in Germany. And we're nervous because we're told, do not go to Germany. They don't like gumball. We're in the Autobahn right now, but this dude's ripping. He is ripping. The other guy behind us is ripping. But I don't see any speed limits. Do you? I haven't seen a single speed no, limit. Dude. So are we on, like, an Autobahn? I don't know. We it's might confusing. Be. It's confusing how the borders here, like, there's no border. There's no sign that's in Germany. All of a sudden, we're just in Germany. Yeah. If you ever wonder what Germany looks like, there's Germany. <laughs> We had a weird feeling because all of a sudden, all the cars around us started going real fast. Like, real fast. this dude in the BMW has been averaging like 200. Now we need to get out of here because it's not safe for gumballers. I'm told 13 minutes to the border. We get pulled over, it's not the speeding. It's the fact that they will impound the car for having stickers on the outside. No stickers! There is guys, so Deutschland is Germany, then there's France on the other side there. So that's the line we need to get to for spotted. We're spotted by the German police. Today has been a lot of anxiety. How do you feel watching this, Bernard? Are you good? Do you need a minute? Okay, exit two kilometers. Let's go. Run for the border. Oh, she's Okay, <laughs> we're getting close. To it. What's crazy is when you're on it, the car's happy. That's fine. When we're moving, it's in a good mood. It's when you stop. It doesn't like that. We're literally rushing to the border to get out of Germany. We're so close, you guys. Oh. Welcome to Fox. We made it. We did. We went to the devil's lair and survived. <laughs> Unscathed. We weren't supposed to be there. Oh my god. Is that a is that a call? We can't tell. I don't know who that is. What a wave though. Not a friendly young man, but not a cop. What is this? Where do I go? Which way? I have no idea, dude. See green arrows, I see the thing with the T. Follow them. Can't. Ah! That's so annoying. You get a ticket here, and when you exit later, you pay a French tax fee. It's confusing when you travel, like all these little weird things. Like, if you don't know, if like, if you didn't speak French and you're by yourself, you go through and like, so why do I have this? Yeah. We've been seeing these signs. What, what are they? This city is called Bitch. Yeah, this is like yeah, Bitch. I saw it. So it's weird because we've been seeing these signs. And I said to Dave, we should film them because we don't have signs like this back at home. We don't. This massive sign with this big artistic drawing of some sort. Just don't know what they're for. So if you know what those signs are about, comment below because I'm curious. Where are you from, Bitch? <laughs> what? Bitch? I've seen a lot of things at gas stations. Things you would not believe. But I've never seen Ferrari merch. Bro, are you weird. kidding me? All the best Ferrari merch you can find at a gas station here, a Shell France. By the way, that was the Autobahn. There was no speed limit on that road we were on. When in France, a French baguette, and I'm gonna get the poulet cheddar. You guys are doing French, man, I'm not even trying. Respect the language. That's exactly what it says, poulet cheddar. Can I get the jambon bourre? No bull Dude. actually in France. They sell crepes at a gas station. Yep. Dude, this is amazing. All right. Check the car happy, and then give a ticket to pay a tax to enter the region, I believe. All right, he's just showing off now. Yeah. That's nice about Mercy, the doors go straight up like that. It's very convenient. Huh. I have no idea. Mercy? I have no idea what they charged you. You just tap your card. You can a $9,000 bill. All right, you guys, we are in, I am not sure. Let's see, what does the map say? We are in St. Louis. What's going on here? Oh, we got cops. We got, oh, that's a real car. You got a gun. Oh, he's got a, he's got a gun. Hey, Are we at the border now? Hey, good timing. Yeah, let's let it cool. How is that for timing? Is this the Swiss border too? Yes. The world's most reliable Murcia Lago. No jinx, please. So why do we need these? You need to pay the road tax to get in the country and drive on the country's road. What if we do what we want? Her. In Switzerland, nobody does what they want. Will you install ours for us? No, I don't install car parts. Coming out of your salary. Oh, by the way, you guys did this. At least he needs a sledgehammer this time. That's right. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Sorry. Influencers. Yankees. Alright boys, let's go to Switzerland. Are you nervous to drive me here? Of course not. Why would I? They won't catch me. You look scared. <laughs> you can't mess around in Switzerland, right? That's no, real. No, you can't. You can't. So why don't you lead us? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, this is the Swiss border. Or so they say. They seem to be wrong a lot today. We're probably back in Germany following these guys. What's cool is that my 599 came from Zurich. 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 No. You, you officially can't speak now. Oh, I'm not making any friends saying it that way. Zurich. <laughs> hey, look it, look it. Don't speed in Switzerland, but a few people decided to break that rule and are currently pulled over by the Swiss police. <laughs> yeah, that's not good, is it? Nah, you don't, you really don't want that ticket. <laughs> Kicked into neutral so many times, I stopped filming it because at this point, you get what's going on. Being fuel. I know why you're overheating. It's because you're so hot. Oh, you I'm sexy seen. dog. Let me cool you down here. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I don't know what's in there. Okay, what's funny you. about Gumball is there really isn't any rally pranks. Some of the smaller rallies, you basically destroy your friends' cars. Like, it gets brutal. But I think it's more of a sophisticated rally. I mean, there's some debauchery, obviously, but people aren't going and wrecking people's cars. We were getting very, very, very close. And apparently there's a ton of TD fans waiting for us when we get to the hotel. After a 14 hour journey today. <laughs> today was a big one. It was a big one. But we had an adventure. Final stretch, Damon. SVJ made it to Switzerland. My home country. Do you feel at home right now? Not really. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't been here in 20 years. All right, just checked ways, and there is definitely lots of cops between now and the hotel. You have two over here, you have one over here. We have 12 thumbs up on this cop right here. So it's hidden. After the tunnel. Smart tactic, that's right, hide too. Right. And. No, no, not no. yet, not yet. Alright, and he is not there. We got two points for that. Rain, unfortunately. So there's a bunch of fans who are diehards standing in the rain right now. We're literally racing the train right now. <laughs> that caught up. Amazing. But he's cheating. We're about to get some elevation here. You would not want to snow right now. We are officially almost there. Six minutes. This is six been, minutes of corner still. I wish it was bright out so I could show you guys how crazy this road is right now. And there's people waiting. Fans right there. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, SVJ. You do it, baby. Two kilometers. I don't want to let my foot off the throttle like at all. Because when you lift, that's when it trips out the the gearbox too. I don't know why. Never lift, bro. Here we go. Um, How she, are you? she took the train here to come meet us. Hey guys. Oh, oh, the sweetest oh, so Thank you very much. Oh, you made it. Oh, you're amazing. Thank yeah. you very much. Hey, I love it, guys. Hey. There's a W Hotel with a few gumbo fans here. There we go. We made it. That was a hike. That was a hike. Back up, back up, back up. Gonna crank it. Good. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Who wants to sit in the car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks 
are coming out. Crazy. Yeah, thanks. thanks. For waiting. Oh, oh, my mom. Oh, yeah. This is my mom. <laughs> mom wants a turn. Yes, love it. Mom, there you go. Go, mom. Watch I'll your. Never get out watch of it. Watch your head. Watch your head. What do you think, mom? I love thanks it. for staying here till. Do you want Let's one? Let's go. Yeah, I want one. It's been a long day. Mom wants a Lamborghini now. You're buying her one. Yeah. You know, the funny story. I owe my mom a car, actually. <laughs> All right, guys. What an amazing end to a very long, stressful day. Having my mom come and visit us here at the end. Do you pronounce this verbier? Verbier. Verbier. Oui, so, oui, oui. Oui, oui, oui. Uh, that's it. That's a wrap. We're out of here. The next vlog is about to get interesting. <laughs>